Mike Greer in NHL. He becomes the first African-American uh, general manager. It's going to be the San Jose Sharks. How do I feel about this? Well, there's a black man who's casual about hockey at most. I mean, I know who some great players are. And I do have respect for skating on ice. But I'm being real with you. It has never appealed to me because it's too white bread. It's just too racist and white bread. Uh, they have not done near enough to bring black entertainment. There. And there were rappers and entertainers who were wearing the hockey jerseys, which were happening in the 90s, as a matter of fact. I've seen quite a few cats. I remember Snoop, quite a few were rocking them. L.A. Kings, all that. But as great as Wayne Gretzky and you go to Sidney Crosby and you go on up, it's just too much of a whitewash sport. And they haven't really done enough to really, you know, bring, uh, you know, more interest to it. Now, I heard that Marshawn Lynch brought a little bit of a, a stake in the Seattle uh, crank, Seattle crackling, crackling team. You know, it's a little minor stake. We know how that go, minority on the crackling. But uh, a black general manager to say that in 2022, the first one ever, is embarrassing. It, it makes... Uh, what I what I call NHL, oh yeah, the NHL stands for the acronym is Negroes Hardly Last, cause it really don't exactly paint a great picture to sell your sport when you're still dealing with first. I mean, how embarrassing can you be that you still have a first black anything? I mean, we know America is racist and butt backers when it comes to dealing with inclusion of black folks. That's why when you have these hating politicians want to ban critical race theory, don't want the truth to come out, you have to ask them, which these reporters and so-called journalists don't do. Is, well, how come you still got black first in America if you're so progressive? You're the richest country, the greatest country in the world. Why are you so late with black folk? Why are you so late with acknowledgement? So, on one hand... And his brother happens to be um, the general manager of the Miami Dolphins. He's been there since 2016, which they ain't saying nothing because even though he's a black general manager in Miami, we know that that owner for the Miami Dolphins is racist, trash, that Ross dude who's behind Trump and all that ignorance. And then uh, that little lawsuit about the racism in the NFL with Tom Flores, who's the coach of the Miami Dolphins. Hmm. So what does it really mean if you get a position or you're seen as a token to offset your racist, institutionalized, systematic racism that exists. So what does it mean? We're going to find out. But anyway, I guess, you know, Mike Greer being the first African-American general manager in hockey at NHL, we'll see what this means. But I mean, until you got more of a balance there, it's a sorry state of affairs that this is the first in 2022. Like I said, America has been around too long to still have black first. So that tells you systematic, institutionalized racism is alive and sadly, well, please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And uh, if you're still dealing with black first, you ain't have to progress that you try to portray or to pretend to be. Diversity is just a word that starts with a D. There's no inclusion. Till you get them reparations and put it to real task. I'm out.